Patty DeRosa is a singer-songwriter who comes from Boston. She said that she was fortunate to grow up in a musically rich period of time in the 60s and 70s, and she started playing guitar at the age of 13 and immediately began writing songs to go with guitar. Patty's music since then has evolved into a little bit of folk, a bit of jazz, a little of rhythm and blues, rock. It's considered by uh, one uh, expert out there as piping hot music. Mm -hmm. She has toured in many places, near and far, locally, nationally, and internationally, and she has a number of CDs. Patty said that mm -hmm offering connection and inspiration to others through her songs is important to her. And when asked for a powerful moment in sharing her songs with others, she shared two instances. One, in writing a song about the people who were victims of Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, which received national and international airplay. And what was especially powerful to her was that she heard from some of the people from New Orleans how meaningful the song was to them and how it gave them hope. Patty also noted that her song, Italian Heart, it was a song that she created about holding on to one's heart and culture despite the pressures to assimilate. And that was a, a special um, moment, a period of time of sharing her song out in, about with people of different ethnic backgrounds who would say, that's my story as well, I have the same feelings. And she also had the opportunity to share that song in Italy, in her grandparents' village, which she identified as also one of the most powerful moments of being able to share a song. Finally, when asked, what is the value of sharing songs and other art with community? Patty noted, the sharing of our stories through art reaches into our hearts, our souls, and our lives, and it challenges us to reflect and to really see each other in the world with new eyes. It makes us think, but even deeper, it makes us feel. There is something transcendent about this process of creation and sharing. It is pure love in action. And here to share her songs, her stories, her love, her hope today. Please help me welcome Patty DeRosa. Never left the place I grew. Only thing I ever knew Can't imagine something new Never left the place I grew Met a boy and had a kid Only thing I ever did Dug a hole and there I hid Met a boy The world's not that small Well, there's gotta be more waiting on the far side of the wall The world, the world's not that small Never tried to venture out Always feel with too much doubt no one hears me when I shout Never try to venture out Done some things I can't erase Shows and lines upon my face Too much time has gone to waste Done some things I can't erase the world The world's 
it's not that small I tend to dance when I play, and it would be very ungraceful if I went tripped and went over. Mm. Mm. So songwriting is an unusual process, right? Just like any kind of writing, creativity, you never know when it's going to come. And that particular song I wrote on the way home from Lowe's after buying a dishwasher. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me, not a dishwasher, a washing machine, washing machine. And you know, I was thinking about that, actually, when I was sitting in the back, I was like, you know, I really thought about why did it come then? And maybe it was something about the domesticity of going to Lowe's and just the rut of having to buy all these household daily things. Who knows what, you know, how the muse works. But sometimes, as songwriters, we're part of these creative things where we get a topic, like an audience, like yourself, will write a topic on a piece of paper, you'll, uh, several topics, you'll vote on it, select it, and then the songwriters who come the following month have to write a song on that topic. I've written some, lots of songs that way, and it's actually a very fun process. And I've gotten some good topics. But one time I got this topic. I wish I was making this up. The topic was leather and Velcro. Leather and Velcro, and I'm thinking no good can possibly come <laughs> from a song about leather and Velcro. But somehow I came up with this. So I need your help though, okay? So all I need you to do is say the word Velcro at the appropriate time very loudly. Okay, so let's just practice. One, two, three. Velcro. Velcro. Okay, it's almost like an Italian road. Velcro. Okay, who knows where it comes from? Okay, so I'll cue you when the Velcro comes. Okay, all right, here we go. So that was a little kind of country. Here's a little jazz, I think. <laughs> I wasn't going to play this, and I decided five minutes ago to do it. So let's. I don't know why. tell you all the story and this one's hot about what we think that matters and what does not things we waste on praying to god above but it don't mean a thing if you ain't got love you can have a house a car a dog and a cat you can have a big career and an account that's fat a private jet and island it won't be enough cause it don't mean a thing if you ain't got love baby please believe me we'll one day soon well Love will start to flow Together with you, honey Every day we'll be stuck to each other Here it comes, just like Perfect <laughs> Quick studies So that's Velcro, but I have to get leather in the word Alright, those are the rules, get it in the song The finest leather on a winery I have all the tea in China A flat screen TV Travel all the world But I'll just shrug Cause it don't mean a thing If you ain't got love Baby, please believe me Say one day soon Well, love will start to flow Together with you, honey Every day we'll be stuck to each other Here it comes again Just like Perfect Diamond 
diamond shine bright like Michael Jackson's glove, but it don't mean a thing if you ain't got love. Well, I think I've come to the end of this song. I hope that I've not been coming out too strong. Say it one more time, I don't mean to bug, cause it don't mean a thing if you ain't got love, 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 love. Thank you. Let me go on tour. Patty DeRosa and the Velcro Band. We're just going to make that. Mm. I'm going to ask you to join in again on the last song. We've got two more I think I can squeeze in here. If I don't talk too much, which is a personal and cultural <laughs> challenge. Ah, uh, my Italian friends understand. Um, I actually live in Boston now, but I'm from New York. I said that in full disclosure. Uh, <laughs> In Boston, sometimes it doesn't go over so good. Especially during playoffs and all those things. But anyway. So this song, hmm, I started writing it as a joke for a friend, shall we say, um, who's continually engaged in particular behaviors that I found particularly annoying. And this is a behavior that's one of my pet peeves. So I wrote this song, and uh, if this is also one of your pet peeves, you will resonate with it immediately. If this isn't one of your pet peeves and you don't get it, it's because you're that person. All right. <laughs> so this is a newer one. Let's see. It's a little tricky. I'm going to try it because it's fun. minutes, seconds tick, not a single word. I mean, you should call, you should text, or you should forget the rest. Hey, baby, where you been? Clock's getting on a quarter to ten. Hey, sugar, you're overdoing. I got something to say to you. You're late. Do you know who you are out there? <laughs> been over this before, but nothing's getting through. I told you once, I told you twice. Next time I will be so nice. Hey, baby, where you been? Clock saying it's after 10. Hey, sugar, you're overdue. And I got something to say to you. You're late. You're late. Baby, you're late. You're late. Baby, you're late. Unreliably, indescribably, undeniably late I've been cooking up a storm, heating up the stove I know you like it piping hot, but this time you get it cold Hey, baby, where you been? Clock saying it's half past ten Hey, sugar, you're overdue and I got something to say to you. You're late. You're late. Oh, baby, you're late. You're late. Baby, you're late. You're very, very unreliably, indescribably, undeniably late. Hey, hey, baby, where you been? Don't leave me waiting again. Sugar, this won't do. I got two words for you. You're late. Again, that's three words. Listen, baby, listen well. Let me make it clear. Leave me waiting one more time. And I'm out of here. Hey, baby, where you been? It's way, 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 way past ten. Hey, sugar, you're overdue and I got nothing to say to you. You're late. You're late. Baby, you're late. You're late, yeah, yeah. Baby, you're late. You're very, very unreliably, indescribably, undeniably. Yo 
indescribably, unbelievably, inconceivably, undeniably late. Oh, why are you so late, baby? Don't leave a good woman waiting. Get a damn watch. True story. Person walked in the house, I just played the chorus. Never piss off a singer-songwriter. I just gotta tell you, that's what happens, you know? Like, oh yeah, I've been working on a new tune. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it bugged me in the morning. I said, you know, I think I like that song. All right, I think we have time for one more. And uh, let me just get this in tune for a minute. So I can get this in drop D. Aha, um, a second. See, if I was Joni Mitchell, the guitar person would come out and say, here, Mr. Rosa, here's your other guitar in the other tuning. <laughs> I can do one string on my own, I think. I just want to pretend I'm getting like something really important on this tuner. You know, like a live MSNBC feed or something. I don't know, but it's not. It's OK. So here we are on Martin Luther King weekend. And it's a good time to reflect, as it is throughout the year, not just on these holidays, around peace and justice and equity and what each of us do to contribute to creating that world or inadvertently do that um, works against those values that we hold dear. And uh, this song actually was one of those topics I got from one of those songwriter challenges. The phrase they gave me was, be that as it may. And I remember getting it. I was in Providence, Rhode Island and driving home to Boston. And I'm like, what the heck does that even mean? What am I going to do with that? You know. But yet I'd been playing around with this idea of trying to hold on to hope and love. I was feeling particularly demoralized looking at the political world. And this weekend, it makes me think of Martin Luther King's quote, having the strength to love. How to love people and each other in the face when those who we're engaging with may in fact not be acting as allies, but may in fact be acting as what appears to be enemies and trust that there's a love in a heart and a soul and speaking to the humanity. And how do you hold on to that? So this comes from that mindset. And what I'd like you to do, and a little call and response, is that when I say, be that as it may, you just sing back, be that as it may. Easy enough? OK. So I'll go be that as it may. And when I go like this, that's you. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And thanks for having this amazing Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. What an incredible gathering here. Thanks. too much some never get enough the world is filled with danger desperation and despair the way the pies divided up Slices are unfair And the ones who hold the power The ones who hold the reins Seem to have a hundred million ways Designed to profit from our pain Be that as it may, as it may, be that as it may, as it may. I'm holding on to love despite it all, be that as it may,
what happened to the children who played along the streets futures disappearing in a flash of half truth Conviction and say yes to peace and no to all the things. And the ones who hold the power, the ones who hold the reins, seem to have a hundred million ways designed. I'm holding on to love despite it all Be that as it may Time is running out We've got to find a way to share Just one lonely voice With voices raised together We can make a choice Yeah, be there as it may There are so many beautiful, wonderful people in the world. So many amazingly kind and beautiful people. But then there are those people that cut you off when you're driving, and they get in the grocery line, and they don't look like they have a lot, so you get behind them, and then, at the end, they take out a thing of coupons like this. And then half those coupons aren't good, and they start going through their groceries to take out the things they don't want anymore. Oh, there's so many people who just annoy me, especially the people who wage war, and the people who oppress the powerless, and the people who just, from my perspective, don't get it. But there are so many beautiful people in the world. So if you can't find them, just be one. Passenger. In life, 
We are passengers. In life, you take a single train. There comes a time when we decide to open the curtain and realize the large number of, of trains that run parallel in different universes, other lives that run parallel to ours. Trains vary from model and size, but the curtain remains closed as the passengers of a dimension feared crossing atmospheres. It's just inevitable. The eyes are dazzled headlights with the lust of new trips. And every human being is a very special trip. If you count, if you count the trains, wagons, seats, and men, you'll be lost in a web of relationships. And it's that web, apparently confused, which are common stock. People who share the same inner journey, and they have a common sense. The sunset, in the same shade, a passenger of time. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada, em português. Peach and pear.